What are you referring to when you say pretty license? I was just giving a compliment saying, here's your, your, pretty, your pretty license, nice picture. Why would you initiate a conversation about wanting a massage from... The only reason I initiated that... Policemen are known for their loyalty and good morals. But what happens when a cop tries to use his title to flirt with women? Hold on to your hats to see this case happening here. In October 2020, Trooper Timmy Williams of the Florida Highway Patrol gained notoriety for all the wrong reasons. What started as a routine traffic stop near Fletcher Avenue and Dale Mabry, highway in Hillsborough County, escalated into a disturbing episode of misconduct, ultimately resulting in Williams losing his job. I pulled her over for going um, 45 in a 35 zone. Uh, once I um, conducted the traffic stop, I um, approached her, um, identified myself, and um, explained why, the reason why I pulled her over. Um, I asked her, is there a reason why she was um, speeding? And she informed me that um, she had just left an interview from a um, massage, um, massage um, shoot. Um, I did um, state that um, uh, I work all day. I can, I can do a gut, gut massage. Do you guys give any law enforcement um, specials? When I say specials, I was referring to discounts. I don't remember at what point in time I um, turned off my um, video um, my, for my, uh, my car, in car. Um, and then that's when I went back to issue her her information. Okay. Um, have you ever met uh, prior to that traffic stop? No, sir. Why would you initiate a conversation about wanting a massage from... The only reason I initiated that, I did indeed engage in the conversation. The only thing my intentions were looking for is a um, discount. I said law enforcement specials, and I don't think the, her audio captured that. How did you know it was a massage therapist? As I put it over, she stated that, and that's when I made the statement as, um, in the beginning, which the audio did not capture, where I asked her, is there a reason why she's speeding? She gave me that information and said she's coming from a massage. I then said, Oh, I can, I, I can do a good, good massage. I work all the time. I work all something related to that. I, I work all the time. I can do a good, good massage. And I said, do you guys give law enforcement specials? Do you think having a conversation with about having her perform a massage on a later date would be appropriate behavior for a trooper to make during a traffic stop? Well, I wasn't, I wasn't. At that point, I was looking for a, a, a discount. I wasn't, I, I wasn't looking in that situation as, as a massage. But to answer your question, I, I, I wasn't thinking about it. I was only looking for a discount at that time. And you didn't think that was inappropriate to talk about during the traffic stop? I made sure not ask that during the traffic stop. I was trying to try de de-escalate the situation, make light of the situation. I, um, I sh may sure not have answered that on the, the traffic stop. You want to repeat yourself because there's a little confusion on what you're saying. Do, and I ask you, do you think that's inappropriate to talk about massage, having a massage during on the traffic stop? No, sir. Are you saying that it's inappropriate? Yeah. Were you saying like inappropriate as far as yeah. a, a massage, a massage as asking for a massage right. on a traffic stop? Yeah. Yes, on a traffic stop. Yeah. And, and, and I'm, when I'm asking you, don't you think that's inappropriate? Yes, sir. Okay. According to your comments about her, about asking her if she would perform other types of massages was sexual in nature and inappropriate. And that's what she's her complaint is about yes sir okay um we're going to listen to this audio and maybe you can actually dissect the information and let's start off with this don't worry about it you don't got it it's just taking a 
a while. Now, can you tell me if... During the traffic stop, Trooper Williams took the ill-advised step of removing his body microphone, a decision that would later contribute to his downfall. When questioning the reason for the driver's speeding, the woman explained she had just attended a job interview at a spa. What unfolded were inappropriate comments and advances by Trooper Williams. Instead of maintaining professionalism, Williams repeatedly complimented the woman on her appearance, crossing into uncomfortable territory by inquiring about other forms of massages, specifically the personal kind. These remarks were not only disrespectful, but also sexually provocative, creating a deeply uncomfortable atmosphere for the woman involved. That was during the traffic stop on October 7th with, and, that, and you, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. We're going to listen further. Here's your pretty license back. Thanks. Isn't that pretty? Oh. And, and I'm going to ask you there, what do you mean by pretty license? What, what were you trying to explain to her about her license? Is there a reason why you were saying pretty license? I was basically de-escalating the situation, and I just said, here's your pretty license back. I said, isn't that pretty? Yeah, and what do you dis? What do you? As part as part as the like I said the um, um, in the beginning when I said law enforcement specials where the video did not capture um, I can't remember what she said and I, and I um, went back to my car and uh, you I said went, you were dis you were trying to make light of the situation is that what you're trying to say or because I didn't understand why you would say pretty pretty license yes sir yeah. uh, you didn't answer the question about pretty is there a reason why you would keep saying pretty license who you what are you referring to when you say pretty license I was just giving a compliment saying here's your your pretty your pretty license nice picture Oh, is that what you're saying? Nice picture? That's basically what I was saying. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I guess. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> oh, God. Perfect. But when can, I, when can I come and get a massage? You're talking about the spa? Huh? Are you talking about the spa? Do I have to come to the spa? And what do you mean by if you had to come to the spa? Uh, is there a reason why uh, you were asking that question? Right, um, and I get I do get massages. Okay, and um, I only stop because COVID. In that, that that room where they have rooms, they have uh, where uh, massage machines are in, in training, and uh, it's like in a uh, community, a big open area, and due to um, COVID. They have other rooms where it's um, private, and that's what I meant as private. The uh, when I said you have to come to the uh, um, the spa, which means that they have other areas where they can block it off, and it's a private massage. Yeah. Why? Because that's where I work. Oh, okay. Could get another massage. Are you trying to set me up? No, actually I'm not. Oh. Um, I'm hmm? more comfortable working at the spa. Uh, no, I'm not, well, well, no, I'm not trying to set you up, actually, I mean. So. I know you get nervous, but I mean, you know. No, I'm good, I'm not one of those. No? I'm not one of those. I don't know, are you like insinuating you want something else? <laughs> I don't do that, sorry. Huh? I don't do that. I'm not saying that you do that. Okay, so what are you asking? Huh? What are you asking? Which one do you work at? The information you were providing her, uh, don't you think that was inappropriate for you to ask? And you never came out with an answer when she asked you about what what kind of massage you were asking about?
Is, is there a reason why you, you're talking to her about massages during a traffic stop? Again, I was only at that point asking for a discount. The video, what she provided, it does not capture in the beginning. Feeling uneasy, the woman discreetly recorded the interaction on her phone. Despite her clear discomfort and refusal to engage, Trooper Williams persisted, asking about her past experiences with massages during what should have been a routine traffic check. Law enforcement special, as far as a discount. Okay, you never mentioned that anywhere that, in, in this that, audio in recording. That recording. Yeah. Correct. Yes, sir. You never asked for a discount? No, sir. And never mentioned a law enforcement discount? No, sir. Not in that recording. And why would she want to set you up? I'm saying I don't know what I don't know why she would want to do that, but I'm saying what what I felt because in the beginning that's what brought about this whole thing. I said law enforcement special. I was only seeking a discount. But you never mentioned that during this any of this recording. Not part of her recording. Yes, sir. Uh, the one over here is called Essentials. I do enjoy the, the, the other one. And what do you mean that you enjoy the other type of massages? They have a um, reg regular massage, where it's the normal, and they also have the um, um, deep, deep tissue, where um, you can... Um, deep tissue is like, what, $900? The other one is like $59, where you can um, basically, some of them, if you law enforcement, you can get the uh, regular or the deep tissue, and then after that, they give you where you have the relaxation. Why don't you mention that during your during this recording that you're asking for something like that? Because nowhere in this recording you're asking for a deep deep tissue or whatever you just explained. You never mention that. Yes, sir. Is there a reason why? I, I don't have a... You're explaining it to me now what it is, but yes, you never sir. explained it to her during the recording. Is there a reason? Well, that's, 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 that's hers. Um, I don't remember the, um, in the beginning where the... Um, before she started recording. I don't want to say that I, I, I did because I don't want to, I don't want to lie. Um, so I don't want to say that I, I did um, explain that or say exactly that to her. Um, I, I can't recall if I said that. I can't. Uh oh, yeah, they probably do that like down there, don't they? No. Don't they do that like in South Tampa somewhere? Where? I'm going to go to South Tampa then. What do you mean by going to South Tampa? And she's mentioning the other type of massage. Uh, you said you would go to the other massage place in South Tampa. Uh, what do you mean by that? I didn't know what she was mean when she said South Tampa, to be honest. What what they did at that point, I was just entertaining her. And I just said, I'm going. I want that one. Yeah. And when she explains that in South Tampa, they do the other type of massages, and you said you want that one. Yes, sir. What do you mean by that? I, I was just entertaining her. I, I mean, she was saying South Tampa were right there, and I'm, I'm just, I want, want that one. What made the situation more egregious was that this inappropriate behavior occurred during a traffic check, where individuals expect officers to uphold the law and maintain professionalism. Despite the woman's efforts to redirect the conversation, Trooper Williams continued his unwarranted line of questioning. Uh, maybe the sketchy ones. And in here you say you've had both. Uh, why would you tell her that? Why would you explain to her that you had two types of uh, sketchy type of uh, massages? Right. Um, I had I had normal, normal massage. I, I go quite often until COVID came. And um, when she was basically um, saying that regular ones or sketchy ones or whatever, and here I am, you know, 
felt for what she was saying at this point. I was just entertaining her at this point. Um, and I'm just throwing out that, you know, yeah, I had both, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I, to be honest, I know that getting a, um, those other sketching charts, I stay away from I know it's illegal. I don't do that. But even though you did mention that, that you had, had it done before. They had it done before. I never did. I only go to the ones hands in stone. Okay. Would there be a reason why you did tell her that, that you've had both? Again, no, no, sir. To be quite honest, I was just basically entertaining her. Okay. Uh, now, when she mentioned sketchy and you mentioned sketchy, uh, is that, are we talking about sexual in nature? I wasn't talking about sexual in nature. She said sketchy, sketchy, and I was just entertaining her at that point. I, 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 again, I never even any, said anything even um, sexual um, related to her um, that I was looking for at that point. At that time, I'm sorry. And you don't believe that you were saying it indirectly? I wasn't, I wasn't saying it in the in the, um, said again, sir. Indirectly, were well, you mentioned? Oh, do do I mean that I was saying it indirectly as far as I want to No, sir. I knew what I was looking for in my heart at the, in the beginning. Now, it was only again only a uh, um, um, cheaper price that I was looking for at that time in the beginning. And once again, you never mentioned that during during up any of this recording. In her, Am I correct? Uh, yes, yes. In her rec part of her recording, right. yes, sir. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, you're like one, you're like, uh, I don't even, I don't know what to say. Say what? But that seems to be normal for some guys, so I'm not surprised. But yeah, I mean, which one you done? The normal ones? Both? Professional. Professional? Yeah. Once again, you ask her if you if she's done both. Would there be a reason why you're asking somebody about doing two types of massages? And according to her, she believes that it was sexual in nature. Yes, sir. According to her. Yes, sir. Why would you mention something like that to somebody on a traffic stop? Well, or why are you even engaging in, in a conversation about that? We was already in that part of the conversation um, as far as, you know, about massages at that point. Um, I wasn't actually engaging in anything sexual at that time. Um, when she said um, sketchy in both, um, she said that um, she brought those up first. And at that time, I'm sitting here having a conversation with her, and I know what it looks like right there, but at that time, I'm just entertaining her and going along with her, and I'm just saying both. You do both, and basically replying back to what she's telling me. Okay. Right, well, you say but professional? Strictly. Strictly, strictly professional? Yes. No, I'm just giving you a hard time. No, I, don't, I, don't, I only go to the professional ones. Okay. The only one I go to is the, um, have you heard of the, um, hand and stone? That one? There's one right there. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, I've been there for an interview, but I haven't got a massage from there. That's those ones I go to. Oh. They're trying to crack down. What do you mean? On the other ones. Oh, the, the sketchy ones? from Trooper Williams' actions was revealed through a video featuring Inspector Frank Troffo of the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles Office of Inspector General. The video included audio from Troffo's interview with Timmy Williams, exposing a disturbing concept of de-escalation from the trooper. So it was down on my, on my belt. So you, you believe your microphone was on at the time? 
I believe that it was on, yes, sir. Yeah, and according to the MVR, your video, it said that your your mic was activated yes, when sir. you went to the car. Yes, sir. Uh, you went back, when, once you, it looks like you got your, the driver's license from, mm -hmm. from, you went back to the car and you made a statement about, you said, shucks, uh, your, that your mic was not charged. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay. It may how, did, how did you know that your microphone, that your mic, your body mic wasn't charging? It vibrated, if I recall correctly. It vibrated. That they gave me a signal that the battery was going dead. So what I did was I took it off and put it on charge at that time. Okay. I looked at it and it's like gave me that blanking signal, if I recall correctly. Okay. Is there a reason why you wouldn't leave the mic on, I mean, on your body and let it completely die? If, it, if it's asking for a charge, you might as well go through the whole process so you have a, at least your microphone showing I, that it's on? I understand. I understand. I, I just put it on charge instead of letting it completely die. That comes to my next question. So you put it on the charger? You, you know that, that, that little cradle that you put in really doesn't give you a, a, a good charge. You realize that, correct? The one yeah. that we put on? No, sir. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. That it does not charge, you say? Yeah, it charges, but it takes a long time to charge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Would there be a reason why you didn't actually win? You know, the, the policy states that you should uh, actually check to make sure that the mic has a full charge. That was, I, I will admit, on my, I keep my mic on my gun belt, and sometimes, most of the time, when I will admit, when I get home, I forget to put it back on charge at the end of my shift, mm -hmm. and it stays on my belt, and then more, sometimes my mic goes dead. That brings me to the next question. When you went to that traffic stop, were you trying to withhold your conversation with from having it recorded when you placed the mic in that little crater charger inside the car? No, sir. No, sir. I know I asked this question before. Do you believe you made sexual and or inappropriate comments during that traffic stop? Despite attempts to salvage his career, Timmy Williams was ultimately dismissed from his position. In a bid to challenge his termination, he filed a grievance with the Florida Public Employees Relations Commission, PERC. However, the commission, after careful consideration, upheld Williams's termination, cementing the consequences of his inappropriate conduct. I mean... So... I know you get nervous, but I mean, no. No, I'm good. I'm not one of those. Huh? I'm not one of those. You're not what? I don't know. Are you, like, insinuating you want something else? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I don't do that. Sorry. Huh? I don't do that. I'm not saying that you do that. Okay, so what are you asking? Huh? What are you asking? Which one you work at? Uh, the one over here, it's called Essentials. Mm -hmm. Deluxe Day Spa or something. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I do the, I, I, I do enjoy the, the, the other ones. Oh. Yeah, they probably do that, like, down there, don't they? Huh? Don't they do that, like, in South Tampa somewhere? Where? I'm gonna go to South Tampa then. I want, That's I want that That's what one. I've heard. I, I, I want that one. Yeah, well, the sketchy ones, I think you could point po them out. Po po police, police officers need, need the sketchy ones, too? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm i pretty sure. <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> How long you been doing it, though? Almost three years. Three years? See, but, see, but if, if, I, if I go to that, if I go to yours now, you're not going to be wanting to massage me. I mean, if you want a normal one. But, I, but I, I think you're pretty though, man. Oh, thank you. But 
So does that mean I'm gonna just do stuff? <laughs> I have, I have, I have some before. Had regular ones? Huh? You're talking about regular? This incident serves as a stark reminder of the importance of holding law enforcement officers accountable for their actions and maintaining the highest standards of professionalism, especially in positions of authority. Trooper Timmy Williams' case stands as a testament to the fact that inappropriate behavior will not be tolerated, even within the ranks of law enforcement. I, I, mean, I don't know if I should be saying that. I mean, I have both. Oh yeah, you're like one, you're like, uh, I don't even, I don't know what to say. Say what? That, that seems to be normal for some guys, so not surprised. Yeah, I mean, which one you done? The normal ones? Both? Professional. Professional? Yes. That's what you say, but professional? Strictly. Pro strictly, strictly professional? Yes. No, I'm just giving you a hard time. No, I only, I only go to the professional one. Okay. Uh, the only one I go to is the, um, have you heard of the, the, um, hand and stone? That one? There's one right there. Well, yeah. Um... I mean, I've been there for an interview, but I haven't got a massage from there. That's those ones I go to. Oh. Cool. But they trying to crack down. What do you mean? On the other ones. Oh, the the sketchy ones. Good. Huh? I said good. <laughs> but they they never crack down on those. Why is that? Huh? Why? Because it's, it's, um, it's difficult, it's hard. Like, you need proof or what? Huh? They need proof or something? What do you mean? Yeah, you can't, I mean, you, you, you go in there, you, 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 they get, they get a massage and after that, how are you going to prove it? You guys can't, like, record it or something? Who can record it? I don't know. Exactly. Well, can't they just say that they had it done? Or maybe they don't want to. I wouldn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who would, you know? Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah. Because those buildings are still around, so. Huh? I said I see those buildings are still around, so. Yeah. 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 But it's all 